Okay, um, we're almost there. So uh, I'll just introduce Sandra, who's going to be taking the session today on basic math apps, maths apps. <laughs> and um, I have to say, I was rubbish at school at maths and um, these sorts of things. So I just maybe what kind of benefits would you say that apps, maths apps, would be compared to the old kind of traditional way that I learned at school? Well, I think um, with these apps, some of them are much more fun than the having to write down your times tables 10, 20 times till you remember them. Um, the more forgiving if you don't get the answer correct. Um, they don't uh, tut or shake their heads at you. And um, your other pupils maybe don't know how you're getting on. Um, but they're really very well done and tend to be very rewarding in the way they do things. Okay, well, that sounds good to me. So what apps are you going to be showing us today? Well, I'm going to be starting off with one called Choose It Numeracy. And this is kind of designed for the uh, the kind of very basic lower end. And I was just thinking of the maybe pupils at Kelburn that this might be useful for. Now, this is actually a pro the most expensive app that um, I'm going to be showing. It actually comes in at $39.99. Uh, <gasps> yes, gasp of horror. Um, but there are eight categories in this, and there's um, about 250 activities altogether. So it actually works out at like so five pounds per category, and I and I worked out that it was about 16 pence per activity. So yes, the whole app is expensive, but there's a lot to it, um, and it's really kind of um, quite nice um, and nice and sharp and good um, graphics on it. So if you wanted to have a look at just sort of basic, um, looking at odd ones out, and you just sort of tap into it and very easily, uh, you can hear that? Well, I can certainly hear it in my right earlug, but so I'm assuming everyone else can hear that as well, hopefully. Okay, um, it's just that the sound has been taken over by the <laughs> by, by Craig's right <laughs> earlug. Um, and I'm not hearing it, but if I, if it was to be repeated, you've got the little speaker icon to have that repeated. And then when you've figured out which one's the odd one out, it's just a simple tap. And then you get that and you get the re re reward to it. Yeah, um, so we've got uh, Nicholas saying and others saying you can't hear the app. So maybe just plug it into your iPad, to your iPad just to get there. That should help. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, that the, the the microphone should pick it up. Which I would think. shape is That's, different? Yeah, okay, we're cooking the gas again. Right. Uh, the yeah. numeracy app, yes. Yeah. It's just to say there's a, a lot of activities, a lot of different levels, um, a lot of practice at at each level as well. Um, expensive, but if that's what you're looking for, then it's it's good value because there's a lot of activities for at that level. I think a benefit of that was that it had um, sort of British coins and it was... It yeah, wasn't, yeah, it was uh -huh. so yeah well, you've got to be very careful when you're looking at money because a lot of the apps are American and you suddenly find yourself with dollars and dimes or whatever. Yeah, so that's... Uh, what's the next app you'd like to look at? I'm going to be looking at maths. Um, um, it's called Math Skills Builder. Um, and basically this one costs 4.99. Um, it's one of a series and you can buy the individual ones. The other ones are 2 29 each. There's not so much in each of them or you can buy them as a bundle. Um, but as you can say he, see here, you can choose your pupils. So I've got a number of different pupils in already. Um, so if I go in and I'll go in to see Chloe and I can see what Chloe's been doing so far and there's a there's quite a few different activities um, and actually you can see down at money she's started off with her money and she's got a gold star for her, the money um, these ones here you can just tap on them and at the very bottom it will tell you that there's one question has been asked about comparing and it was answered correctly um, so the blue faces mean that there has been a question asked but it's not completed whereas the um, Wait till we get the if you get the star, then that's it. All have been asked, and it's all completed. The padlocks um, are just that those particular levels you can't access until you've done the previous ones. It's not that you have to have any in-app purchases that you sometimes find if you get a locked oh, area. Um, you can as well as changing the pupil. 
Um, if you go into the year, so it could still be Chloe, and for next year it might be that she goes into year two, so Chloe's now in year two, and she wants to practice the skills for, for year two. So there is an option for progression then. Mm -hmm. for, for yeah. Um, the other thing is, you'll see down um, at the bottom, there's a little sort of tap to change arrow bouncing around there beside this, the flag for Scotland, because obviously when you first install it, it's actually defaults to the English national curriculum, so you have to go in uh, and select the, the Scottish one, and then you, you know that the activities are linked to that. Um, you can have a look at the progress uh, either in this way or in a different view, um, and you can look at it different ways, but it's a nice wee app. Okay, very nice. And that's what, what did you do the price for that it was, one? That one, it was four ninety nine for this particular app. The they've also got ones on fractions, shapes, and tables at two twenty nine each, or you can buy the bundle of um, four apps for nine ninety nine. Okay, nine ninety nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very interesting. Is there a sort of a, a magical math app you might have there? <laughs> by any my ma yes, my math magic app. Now, this one I think is one where uh, when I tap to play, it, this is where you have to crane your neck to one side because this has been designed originally for the iPhone and it won't squiggle, squiggle round. Now, I can turn my iPad round, but the screen that you're looking at doesn't acknowledge that. So, although I'm looking at it the right way, you're going to have to stick your head on one side to have a look at this one. Um, one of the things I particularly like about that, this one, is in the settings because I can choose my skill level, so you go up from one to four, but I can also choose the minimum number that I want them to work with. Now, if I'm in skill level one, I can have a minimum number of one and I can have a maximum number of one. So all the number work I'm doing is with those two numbers or you can change those and have them at any level. So if we go between one and say five to start with, and however, if you're working with older pupils, you might be wanting to introduce negative numbers still within the skill level one. So it's really easy ones, and if you turn your negative numbers on or off. Okay, um, Nicola's just asking. She missed the name of that app. Could you it's called it? Math Magic. Math Magic, Nicola. Math Magic. And it's seventy nine pence. Mm -hmm. I've chosen to have the sound off. The uh, when you have it on, in fact, I will turn it on so you can have a so you can can listen to it if if the sound's working okay, because it's um, it can be a bit. I find it a little bit irritating. Um, if you can also choose to have a challenge which is timed, and you can set the time and what type of songs you want to be included in that challenge. And you can have the next games game set to go on automatically, or whether you have to click on a button to do that. Anyway, I'll do done. I'll just show you what it's like. Um, now, I've chosen. Excellent. Oh, that's working. That, now. that was sound was very loud. <laughs> um, Beautiful. Sorry, Craig. The iPad. I have in the. Um, Answer selection, I've I've got it set for choices. If I set for manual and go this time, I don't get this choice of answers. So I actually have to tap, type in or tap on the correct one and go to check. Great job! And this time I'm going to do the get it wrong and show you what happens. So this time for one, two, I'm going to say it's five. I'm going to do check. You can do it. So I get the encouragement to have another shot. Not that I'm wrong, you know, not that it's, I don't get a big red cross or anything, I just get told that I can do it. So I can, I can do it. You are awesome! Right. Um, one thing I will say though, uh, this one, is that you might want to turn on your guided access so that the, the pupils themselves can't access the bottom uh, row of settings and change them about. Uh, so easy to change it to the, your takeaway sums or multiplying sums and whatever. But if you've got it set up for people, you don't want them playing around with that. And if you're not sure about guided access, I think there's some information in our book. Yeah, in the book. <laughs> and 
possibly a, another webinar mm -hmm. with guided access yeah. on it as well. Um, and if you're not seeing the book, it's on the, our, the Call Scotland website, which you can download as a PDF. Okay, so that's the uh, math, magic. math magic. So now we can we can go back with it. We don't have to crane our necks anymore. <laughs> okay, um, so this next one is um, numerosity. I yes, believe. it's yeah. a series of apps. There's five apps in all in this um, selection, and they're all free, which is a fantastic price. Um, so I'm going to have a look at again. Look at the addition ones. This is so I don't have to think too hard because I'm quite good at addition, especially at the very early levels. Don't ask me to do hard sums. I was most I, impressed with your uh, numeracy skills earlier on, I have to say. <laughs> I was feeling a lot for those poor pupils in the N5 exam, who, or was it the higher exam, who found that um, it was a bit harder than expected. As you can see, I've um, set this up earlier with, I've got two pupils. Pupil one has done a little bit of it already, and has already got, managed to get over 6,000 points. So if I go into pupil two now, and I'll do let's go, um, and then I choose that one. Now, this is set, so it just gives you a wee tutorial to show you how to do it. That can be turned off. And having seen that tutorial, I just go, let's go. Everything's locked when you first start it. You've got to get, you've got to work your way through the levels. So it does mean that you're never attempting levels that you can't succeed at. Unless, of course, you're cheating. Okay. So the idea is that you just put the answer onto the little plus sign. So it's, you're adding the two together and finding the answer and dragging it up. The hint gives you the number line. So if you need the support of a number line, you can find nine and then add nine on until you get to the correct answer and pop it in. And that's how you get your... Um, build it up and how you get your points. So you can see already I've, I've put 382 points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pause that one. If I go into level select, I can still only get into level one because that's all I've managed to do. But if I go back to the different pupils and choose the pupil that's got already got quite a few and go to let's go, um, you'll see that several of the levels have been unlocked already so one two three and then on to level four okay so slightly harder now oh i'm telling you this is really yeah. taxing stuff now um and as you say it, get, it does get uh, more and more difficult um so i'm trying to <laughs> I was trying to think and talk at the same time. Obviously difficult. Um, and there we go. But that's how it goes. So it's, it's, a, it's a really nice app and excellent value for money. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so that's um, numerosity. That's the addition one. We're going to yep. look at doodle maths now, I think. This is a, you get a free trial for this one. Yeah, you can set it up for a free trial with this one. Um, I can't remember. Right. So yes, I started doing, working my way through it, so I'm doing a seven a day assessment. Um, as, a, as a freebie, you can set up a certain things, but you have to personalize it to be able to access the seven a day. Uh, if you don't want to personalize it, the only thing you have access to is this little button called Games, and you only have access to Monkey Mania. But if you're looking at very early level sums, then we've got... Um, Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. You'll notice that the addition ones are at level two because I've already worked my way through level one and obviously did well enough to get up to the next level. The idea is that you get the monkey up the tree and as you can see, he's already sliding back because I'm taking so long thinking about it. And as I get the answer correct, or if I get the answer correct, he works his way up the tree. And if I should get it wrong, he starts going back down again. If I go to the multiplication ones, again, level one, so I can work my way through that. But for, it's not quite a nice wee game. It's, that's, but all that, mm -hmm. that's all you get if you want freebie and not personalizing it. Whereas the assessment mode is when I've already set it up. I'm called pupil one, and you've got to work your way through quite a few different levels to work out where you're going to be put to start with, which is 
takes quite a, a, a wee while. So I shall go that. But that's the free version, and you can um, purchase it mm -hmm. for not a lot of money. Yeah, but it's, I, I, it's I, during when you were, we were practicing earlier on, you were doing actual some doodles in it as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was quite nice too. Uh -huh. That was quite a nice uh -huh. little feature um, that we were looking at. The only thing is, I think what I said earlier was that if, if if you're not actually you've got to work your way around this, it, yeah. you can't yeah. get back into it. You've got to work your way through yeah, that section through before yeah. you can get back in and do something else. So, so it's still a nice feature to have. But it does. You can also gather the stars you get as reward mm -hmm. points, and you choose up when you set it up. You can choose your own kind of pet, and then you can purchase accessories for your pet so i had a penguin and i can ch choose things like wigs and shoes and hats and things for my penguin once i've got the stars mm. so monkeys climbing up and down trees it's good yes. to see how technology's evolved over the years yeah <laughs> anyway uh, from that kind of nice colorful interface to something a bit more basic very plain and simple but very effective yeah that's uh does it learn your tables it is indeed learn yeah. your tables um now again <laughs> Although it's the right way around on your screen, it's actually upside down on my iPad. Um, it won't rotate. It won't. Uh, it seems, but that's fine. With this one, you can choose what table you want to look at. At the moment, it's going through the seven times table. But if I would just tap on the four, it will build up the four times table so that you are working with it and building it up. And then you can choose to do answers on that single table, or you can choose to answer questions on mixed tables. You can choose different styles of questions. So I'll just show the drag question on the single table. Now I'm working upside down at the moment. So this is <laughs> I'm going to show four fours sixteen. Yeah, it looks like ninety-one there. See fours twelve, and you just turn them over. If you get it wrong, it just won't go into the the space that, unless it's correct. Okay, so back to the menu. If you go into this answer, so you have to tap the keypad to find the answer. Oops, put into Doke, and then next, and so it builds up. And for test, this time there's a wee timer on it. Um, and you get so many questions and see how many you get right and what time it takes you. If you're going into the mixed um, tables, if I go into my uh, answer, this time I've got so <laughs> look at up 10 nines 90. <laughs> it is strange doing these upside down. Um, and when I'm happy with that, but you'll notice I get two bars because 10 times 9 is the same as 9 times 10, so I'm actually doing two tables at the same time. And so it's indicating that you're actually doing that. So this is, and again, so you get the bar at the 7 as well, and so on. So very plain, very simple, no sort of zingy, um, chatty bits, and mm. uh, but it does what it's meant yeah. to do. We've got a question from Val who's asked about uh, maybe just summarising the apps, but we could do that at the end. We've got one to yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. We oh, yeah. gonna have, this is more for, um, I would say, for the older pupils. This is a, a math kind of mystery thing. And you start off at level one and work your way around this mansion. So level one is going through the door to start with. You get a little uh, tutorial, um, and there's different ways that you can do this. You've got the, the chicken peck. So that's you tap, you peck the numbers as you count along. Or you've got what they call the slug slide, which is the one I like. Um, there's the woodpecker tap, which is when you find the right answer, you double tap to get put the answer in. And then... We need to work our way through it to find, get the answers to the problems. So we'll just go into the first level, and we've got a sum, which is 63 plus 3. So if I do the slug slide, I start at 63, and I slide along 1, 2, 3, till I get to the answer. Then I do my woodpecker tap, put it in, and that's it. On to the next one. So I think it's, it's quite nice. Um, 
with, with that kind of thing. So my tap, and it goes. So it's a mixture, anything within the 100, and it could be subtraction, it could be addition. So it's, I think it's quite a nice V1 just to mm -hmm. help sort of practice some of the, yeah. the number. Mm -hmm. And it's designed for older pupils. Yeah. Now, this okay. is the last one we're going to look at, and I have to say, I, I quite like... Yeah, sorry, uh, Helen's just asking, how much is the Slug Slider app? Um, um, I think that was free. Mysterious Mouse, a free one. What we'll do is... what um, I've got um, a sheet just about kind of written up with all the uh, with this, and we'll be putting it onto the website so that you can download it with the information about the apps that we've looked at, the cost of them, plus others that we've not had time to cover. Um, mm. Covering a different um, the d different processes. Okay. Now this final one, Sandra, is one that sort of very reminiscent of my primary school days. Something I right. quite enjoyed doing. But now you can have it okay. on an iPad. This is actually nothing to do with drill and practice. It's nothing to do with learning your tables or your number bonds or anything like this. This is merely a wee bit of fun. Um, but if you remember the days when you used to ha hammer in nails into a board and get your thread or your elastic bands and create patterns and things. Well, this is a great way of doing the same sort of thing, but without elastic bands pinging all over the classroom. But it's also useful for doing symmetry as well. So, say for example, here's my line of symmetry. Actually, I'm going to take a bigger board. So I'm going to take my, here's my line of symmetry there. Oops. Attach it on. Um, and then you can just make if I do that one there, then where would it be on the other side to have it the same? Okay, so you can do that kind of thing. Um, so you can also use it for doing your grids. So you could have it, okay, if you take a line from 1, 6 down to, from 1, one six two four two. It's quite good for early coordinates, isn't it? Plotting yeah. coordinates uh -huh. and things. So lots of different things. You can also have your circular one as well. Yeah, you used to do shapes. Can you do shapes and things like um, that as well? You know, like a, a circle from the lines and oh. things like that. That's that type of thing. <laughs> do you mean this? Something like clear the board, and so so let's start. Oh, the nice thing is, you can if you don't like the colour of elastic band, if it's selected, you just tap it and you've changed your colour. Hmm. That's um, right. So again, if I if I pick up another band and bring it down, pick up another band down. Oh yeah, that's the one. I used to take them home to my mum. Oh yeah. yeah. We used to have things like ships with the sails and all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. So, of course, this is how do you get a curve using only straight lines. And this is how you do it. Is there any sort of option to share it then? You know, could you save it as an image or anything like that once once you've done that? Or is it just the, the act of creating it is, is the fun thing to do? Well, I've just tapped on the I button for the information. It tells you how to do various things. And so different things that you can do, but it's, there doesn't seem to be an option. What you can do, though, is to take the photograph, you know, how you just do oh, the, yeah. the, where you take the screenshot and then so, you can yeah. share it from that. So you're just pressing the sleep yeah. button and the power button together. That's and right, that takes yeah. Photograph. But it's the sort of thing where it, they do keep changing. They, they have updated it very recently. Um, so that's the sort of thing that I can see happening in the future. Um, a lot of these app developers quite like getting ideas of how to take it further. Yeah, we've certainly done that with Book Creator and some of the other apps. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for that, Sandra. Um, I'm just looking at some of the uh, questions that we've got. Um, if there's any other questions you have, please pop them into the text box. Um, Helen's asking how much is it, but that was for the ones we looked at earlier. Uh, and I think we, we could just do a quick resume we, of, of the ones we've yeah, looked at uh -huh. just today. Well, we started process. off with the, yeah. the um, Choose It Numeracy, which was the expensive one at thirty nine ninety nine. But as I say, I worked out at being like sort of, um, 16 pence for each of the individual activities, and there's mm -hmm. about 20 yeah. or 30 pages for each one. The Math Skill Builders, which was four ninety nine for the um, that particular one, 
with 229 for the fractions or the tables or shape. Uh, that's the one that links into the collect and flex links um, and where it's really easy to see how pupils are, are, are doing. Uh, the Math Magic was 79 pence, a uh, mm. nice cheap one, but you could really choose very carefully which numbers you were wanting them to work with mm -hmm. and decide on which of the uh, four processes you wanted to work, do. Mm. Numerosity, three. I mean, it was uh, brilliant. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and one called numbers, which covers a whole lot of things. Um, the Doodle Maths, we had a look at that. Again, mm -hmm. that's uh, the free version doesn't give you an awful lot of scope. Um, and I'd have to check up on how much the um, actual full version is. Um, but we'll, we'll make sure that they get that information. Same for the Learn Your Tables. Fairly basic. I think that's 79 pence. I'm fairly certain the yeah, Learn Your Tables is 79 pence. Um, and again, the Geoborden Masterious, I think maybe free, but we'll check. Okay. So Pat's asking if you've got maybe any apps that are specific to students in FE. Um, and the one that just, I think, off my head is, is it MathsBoard? Is maybe, I remember you got some in your, um, uh, I don't have my iPad with me. What, what sort of sums are you wanting to do? I mean... There's, um, it depends what level you're working yeah. at. Yeah. What, what kind of level would you be working with? Is it sort of stepping, you know, um, horizon type students that you've got? Level four and five. Let's see, learn your tables oh. one. Okay. Um, this, this is kind of, this one is, again, it's from the same um, that company too. that does the learn your tables. Um, and this is called Brackets Basics. So if you're wanting to teach them about their brackets, so the challenge is how to make that 32. And you've got to work out, well, if you do know that 4 eighths are 32, then you can figure that one out. But that's not, you're knowing that the sum in the brackets gets worked out first of all. So if you know your tables, you can use your tables and your number bonds to help uh, you figure out how to work out the brackets. Is that the sort of thing that would be useful, Pat? I'm thinking as well, well, well Pat's, uh, yes. So the other mm -hmm. one is, what, there's that really nice app where you can actually write onto the app um, and it, it converts yeah. your, your, your written into um, sort of text and then you can... Um, set it to do the sums Excellent. and things like that. That wasn't uh, in there. Just kind I've of escapes my mind. Math board. That Math one. board. Could that be the one? Let's just share the screen again to, for that. I can't do this. What's that? No, that's... I don't know, let's see it too into your maths apps. Is it MathPad? The MathPad. And ModMath, yeah. Um, right, MathPad and ModMath. Yeah, I think MathPad and ModMath, Pat, might be quite good for FE. Um, Sandra might do a quick demo of this just now. You could just write on with your finger or with a stylus. And you can see it just converts that really nicely. And so you can make quite complex equations as well, and it, it manages them, them quite well. So, and <coughs> I remember you did a nice one with brackets too. You could put brackets in That's the actually that the, the one with the brackets is actually a calculator. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's... Um, in fact, it's my, in my calculator folder, I find it. No. But that's that's designed where you write in your sum, you ask it to work it out, and then you can change where things like the brackets and things are. That's the one, yeah. Right. Well, it's quite clever. That's it, calculator. Right. Yeah, so this so is if you've look. got four, yeah. add three, multiply by seven, and then I've got a little calculate button at the bottom um, right-hand side. I'll 
Okay, now if I was to do that and then calculate, okay, that's wrong. I didn't, I can scribble out the brackets and put my brackets there. No, or something to that effect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you get, you get the general idea. It's yeah. uh, very good. Um, and very quickly, for those folk who need to have a, a calculator that talks to them because they have got problems with their numbers, I think I've got I a... I think I just saw that talking calculator. Yeah. It? Yeah, we've got... Um, mm -hmm. um, so basically, sometimes um, the pupils who are students who have got dyscalculia will find that if they want to write 17, mm -hmm. they'll put in the 7 and then the 10. Uh, but it's but talking it back, talks, but it's talks not back, going through, uh -huh. unfortunately, but it's talking uh, back. It, it will say that. So instead, okay, that's incorrect, so I can cancel that, and I can put in 17. So I don't know if you can hear that, but it is talking back yeah. there. Um, and Okay. Okay. Um, well, I think uh, we've kind of probably run over our time, but hopefully we can compensate for the time where we had a few um, a few problems earlier on. Val, Val is saying it's quite a good idea about uh, a wheel of math maths apps. Yes, it has been That's mentioned. A great, idea, a great idea, yeah, yeah. If anybody uh, has come across any apps that they're particularly keen on themselves, um, it would be great to have them um, and see where it would fit in, because certainly a maths app wheel would be really useful for a number of um, people. It would certainly fit in well with uh, other math, uh, other apps. Yeah. But, uh, we're always looking for um, mm -hmm. good suggestions, especially ones that um, you yeah. have seen yeah. working with pupils as well and that the pupils have responded well to them. Yeah. Well, um, if there's no more questions, I think we'll we'll wind that up. Actually, thank thank you, Sandra. It was really good, really interesting. And <laughs> thanks for staying with us for yeah, those. Uh, apologies for the technical but, uh, hitch in uh, the middle. <laughs> we got through there. We got through there. So that's great. So um, thanks, Val. Thanks, Pat, Ishbel, and Helen. Okay, we'll close the session now. Thanks, thanks, everyone.